Let's bring in Sheila Kayalu from Jeffries. She's got a buy rating, $45 price target on Delta. Sheila, and I believe this was your top pick. Why, why did this come as such a surprise? We knew how the, the airline executives have been telling us how strong demand is for a while. I think really, um, Sarah, people miss the fact that everybody was so focused on costs in Q1. And that's really why we downgraded Southwest a few months ago. But the you know, discussion shifted from cost to pricing power and how strong demand was, as you said, especially what Delta talked about in their March trends with corporate coming back 70% up to 2019 levels, domestic premium only 10% below 2019 levels. So um, now the question is becoming how long could this strength exists for the consumer. And you've been talking to a lot of your folks about that on, on, on your segment today. Right. So, so far, it's pretty good when it comes to consumer spending and airlines are a place that they want to spend. But, but if inflation does start to come down and demand comes down, then, Sheila, what, what do the economics look like? Because you still have higher jet fuel costs versus where we were, you know, in years prior and, and some headwinds on international travel demand like China, which is still seeing lockdowns. So I think you're starting to see that shift in Q2, where capacity is actually 15% below 2019 levels, but your revenues are only 5% below 2019 levels. So that pricing power is really strong in Q2. And at, you know, as your economist said earlier on the segment, as Ed Bastian pointed out, the consumer is strong and they're not seeing a slowdown. However, we published a, a travel survey this morning, our leisure team did, and is inflation gonna start hitting that consumer at the lower end? So mm -hmm. what happens if your airfare is going up by $100? That might not stop that travel. But if your Miami hotel room becomes $2,000 a night, then d does that pull back uh, that consumer spending? And we're seeing that in our travel survey published today, where 40% of economies slash midsize uh, hotels said they're going to see shorter stays if prices go up by only a 20% increase. So right so now, investors are questioning the elasticity of this curve and how strong the consumer could continue throughout the summer into the fall. Well, not today. Today is a good day for, for everything that touches airlines, hotels. Boeing is leading the Dow. American Airlines is leading the S&P up 11 percent. So what, what do you do with these stocks now? Which do you like and which not so much? We, we really favored airlines into the quarter out of all the stocks we cover, whether it was aerospace or defense or airlines. And it was on this pricing pitch because we saw strength across the board. So we continue to like airlines on pricing, and that's what we're monitoring. How long can the consumers, consumers stay strong? On defense, uh, we don't expect a robust Q1 for the defense primes, but we see defense budgets are going up no matter what, whether it's in the U.S. or NATO. So those are the two groups we're preferring right now, and we're putting a hold on the uh, commercial aerospace uh, suppliers.